Last week on Working Class Foodies, we showed you how to make our family's traditional, fail-proof apple cake. A bunch of you sent in photos of your own cakes. Here's Louise's beautifully sugared square cake, MDF Smash's mouth-watering bunt cake, Justin and Marissa teased us with a photo of their batter ready to go in the pan, and Clever Kitty topped her cake with a maple glaze. If you've got a recipe, photo, or video to share with us, post a link in the comments or upload it to HungryNation.tv slash submit. So... We had a lot of pumpkin seeds left over from all the jack-o'-lanterns we made. And after the first few batches of roasted pumpkin seeds, kind of got tired of them. And then we tasted Jock Therese's seasonal pumpkin seed brittle. And it was so good. The, the pumpkin seeds were, gave a really nice toasty flavor and also a really good crunch to the brittle. And even though I'd never made candy before, I figured Halloween's right around the corner. You know, what better time to try for the first time? This week on Working Class Foodies. We found a recipe for pumpkin seed brittle by Dan Barber, the chef owner of Blue Hill and Blue Hill Stone Barns in the New York Times that looked easy and delicious. So I need a cup and three quarters of sugar. Three quarter cup of water. So I'm just gonna stir it until it comes to a boil. And then it's gonna go to 264 degrees. I take you out, I have a smoke. I bite your dress, you bite so it's at 264, so I'm going to pull it off, add in the salt and the pumpkin seeds. It's really thick. It feels like stirring through thick porridge. Remove from heat. So we add the butter and the vanilla and stir to incorporate. So let me add the baking soda. <laughs> it looks gross. For a thinner brittle, stretch it while it's still hot with gloved hands. Yeah. The brittle was delicious enough on its own, but Halloween is all about indulgence, so we decided to coat our brittle in chocolate, just like Jock Therese. Alternate between microwaving the chocolate for 30 seconds at a time and stirring it until the chocolate is at 88 degrees Fahrenheit or 31 degrees Celsius, or 2 degrees less for milk or white chocolate. Stir the chocolate until the temperature has dropped to 81 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius, and then add in the remaining 4 ounces of chocolate. Fold the tempered and non-tempered chocolate together until they're uniformly melted. If the chocolate dips below 81 degrees Fahrenheit, you can use a hairdryer to bring the temperature back up. Check out Jacques Therese's instructional video on tempering chocolate for more cool tips and advice. Once the chocolate is all melted together, it's time to coat the brittle. This is what it looks like when you temper chocolate. We let the brittle cool overnight, and the next morning we packed it into bags to give to friends on Halloween. Stay tuned. After the break, we take a stab at some grown-up candy apples, but not everything goes according to plan. Will from Huntington, New York. I have a meta macaroni and cheese I didn't like. Campbell's soup on macaroni. Frozen macaroni and cheese. And that nuclear cheese that comes with the craft box. In heaven, they serve macaroni and cheese with every meal. While we were kind of in the throes of our candy making craze, the second to last issue of Gourmet Magazine had a recipe for sort of grown up candy apples made with red wine in the caramel. It sounded kind of interesting. Let's make those too. Need eight small apples. So I'm putting these chopsticks into the apples for holders. I could use popsicle sticks or anything too, but since we have takeout Chinese, we have all these leftover chopsticks. Please don't do One and a half cups of red wine. Tastes like a black cat. Not really though. <laughs> Best wine I've ever had. Boil the wine over medium heat until it's reduced to half a cup, and then remove it from the heat. Then pour together two cups of sugar and half a cup of water in a heavy saucepan. Don't tell your dentist you're eating this. Stir the sugar and water together over medium heat. When the caramel starts to boil, swirl the pan occasionally so that the caramel colors evenly. 
When it's a dark amber color, add the wine and swirl the pan. Stir in six tablespoons of heavy cream and then simmer to 238 degrees Fahrenheit or 114 degrees Celsius. Then remove it from the heat and let it cool to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius. Dip the apples in the caramel. Swirl them so the caramel coats the apples evenly and hold them upside down for about 15 seconds to help the caramel set. Put the apples on greased wax paper or a greased silk hat until the caramel firms up. I don't really know what happened, but somehow these candy apples, the caramel didn't stick and it melted off. No good? So I don't know what we did wrong. If anybody else has tried this recipe, please let us know. Um, Help us out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us what we did wrong. The failure of the candy apples was especially disheartening after the brittle came out so well. And the great thing about the brittle is you could use any nut or seed or even dried fruit right. and it would be really delicious. So the cost breakdown for the brittle was, we used about $1.50 worth of corn syrup. For a pound of chocolate, it was $12. For a four pound pumpkin and its seeds, it was $1.60. And then the sugar, butter, salt, vanilla, and baking soda was all pantry. So altogether, that's $15.10. And we made about 10 bags, so that's about a buck fifty a bag. So the cost breakdown for the candy apples came to. We used about $2 worth of red wine. So we spent $2 on the apples and $2 on the cream. I mean, the only other ingredient was sugar and, of course, water, which is part of the pantry. So altogether, that was $6 for eight candy apples, which is less than a dollar per apple. Right. And because we used chopsticks that came with takeout Chinese, that was... You know, a lot cheaper than buying popsicle sticks. Right. So send us your recipe for a growing up candy or a caramel apple, and whoever sends in the best recipe will win a bag of our pumpkin seed brittle.